Hi guys, Zach here with another Commander Conquer Red Alert video. In this game I'm playing a 3v3 match on the map Arena Valley Extreme. I'm starting in the top right and playing as the Allies. At the moment I'm just going for the typical opening, I'm going to build three infantrymen and when it's starting in the top right, the important thing is to get to the middle of the right side of the map very very quickly. And the reason is, is there's a little bottleneck there and you don't want you to let your opponent through that bottleneck and um, so we're just trying to restrict the visibility for our opponents as much as possible and also if we get to the bottleneck we'll be able to get any some warning if our opponents do go for an early infantry rush and um, the thing you have to be careful of though is you don't want to put your troops through the bottleneck because usually your opponents will be waiting at the other side and it's a good way to lose a lot of trunks unnecessarily and you can see I'm just putting a second line of defense just to stop any scouts from the middle getting into my base because even though the bottleneck's guarded the other teams can still send scouts through the middle and then turn to the right after they come through the middle so I'm just covering all options here right I'm going for the three war factory start so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building two ore trucks straight away from my war factory and I'm going to be micromanaging my ore trucks to collect gems because gems get you a lot more money than ore does. I think it's about double the amount. And you can just see I'm just keeping an eye on things at the moment. Making sure there's no unexpected scouts coming from my base. And that there's no infantry rush either. But I should get a forewarning because I'll lose some troops from that gap otherwise. Right and now I'm going on to my third war factory. And the benefits of building a third war factory early on is that it increases your tank building speed so it's a very good medium term strategy. You are a bit more vulnerable at the start because you could go for one ore truck and just build two war factories which would give you a bit of an advantage um, sort of in the early game but once you get that third war factory down you'll start getting that advantage of an increased building speed and my opponents haven't attacked yet so it's obviously it's been a good idea to use that and now I'm going to be needing to start to expand down south to that next ore patch. It's always best to spread to as many ore patches as possible because if you just stick on one ore patch then they all run out on that and then you'll have to move everything to the next ore patch and so on so what we're doing is we're just trying to spread out our ore trucks on different patches and you can see now I'm taking all my troops to that bottleneck there just to avoid so if they do send any tanks through I'll be able to catch them before they do right um, I've made a little bit of a mistake here with the caching flow Um, I need to micromanage my auto trucks possibly a little bit more Um, so I have run out of all at the moment but no worries so I'm going to make an attack on the person in the bottom right at the moment and as we can see there's no resistance at the moment which is um, good for us and yeah they seem to I was just checking there but uh, it seems like the thing and actually he's got no right he seemed a bit delayed then actually yeah I think he was like I think he, I think what he was doing is was he was protecting his construction yard and because he was construct and since he was con trying to hold his tanks back I just attacked his buildings at the front so that was a bit of a mistake from him. I think he ha had his tanks surrounded his construction yard. He just expected me to dive bomb in there. I mean, sometimes people make that mistake. I mean, um, months and months ago, I remember making a mistake going for my, to protect my construction yard. And the person sent his tanks in, just destroyed my ore trucks at the front of my base. So that's if, if you do see someone pull his tanks back, then just, I mean, you just take out the buildings at the front. Right, so that's worked out quite well for us because we did get quite a few tank kills as well at the end. So I think it will be very hard to, for him to pull out a counter attack. And you can see I'm moving on medium tanks right to that bottleneck. So if he does come for the counter attack, he'll have to fight through them. Because you always have an advantage if you put your tanks at the other side of the bottleneck to your opponent. And you can see I'm just having to direct my ore trucks a little bit there. Right, and you can see he's trying to send his tanks through, but I'm trying to block them as much as possible and get as many kills as I possibly can. And you can see I've got, I think I've got about six tanks there. And I think he's realised it's actually no good. So that was a big mistake from Yellow there. He lost a lot of tanks just trying to drive his tanks through mine. And it's worked out very well. And you can see he's lost all those tanks. I don't think, I don't know if he even got a single tank kill there. So that's worked out very well for us. And you can see that yellow's coming back 
with light tanks. And we can see that green's moved on to medium tanks. Uh, yellow is on light tanks. I mean, medium tanks have more HP. Light tanks do a lot of damage, but have very low HP. So, and uh, they're, very, they're not very durable, let's say. But you can see green has got great numbers in this fight. Um, although it's working well for us, and you can see... Now, this is something probably to watch out for in some fights. You can see Green spent a lot of time stationary there, and then they're moving again. And what that tells me is Green is moving something at somewhere else on the map. So I'm going to have to hope my allies have their eye on the ball, or eye on the game. Because I think Green, you can see they're pulling the tanks back there. Green are definitely doing something else somewhere else in the game. Um, so whether they're attacking one of my allies, possibly, or whether they're trying to send some tanks round to my base. I'm not quite sure at the moment, but Green has definitely preoccupied with something else. It might actually be their base that they're trying to fight at. Um, so yeah, probably. I know some of you guys would say you should build a radar dome, um, which would probably be a good idea um, soon. But uh, ah, and we can see that uh, Cyan is pointing out something up here. So I think Green might be moving around the back of my base. And you can see orange are coming, and you can see green are in fact there. So I've lost my construction yard now. I'm not going to be able to build anything more. Right, so this isn't going to go too badly for us, I don't think, because orange are here as well. And you can see that red's tanks are now on very low HP, and he's only got a couple left of green. And you can see yellow are coming, but now they've thought better of it. And they're going for the other side of my base, but that's not going to provide too much of an issue. I mean, even if they get the or I don't know if they go for the aura fine. We're just trying to do some tank damage. It looks like they're just trying to fight my tanks at the moment. But there's just we've got overwhelming numbers, and you can see orange have actually put up a base in the middle of the map, and that Tesla coil in the middle of the map is going to really make it hard for our opponents to get through there. Right, I've sent my tanks south. I'm just going to keep my tanks going south, and we're just going to fight the green tanks here with the tanks in my base, and then as soon as I defeat green here. I'll be able to use my tanks down at his base. And you can see he's going for my construction yards. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. You can see I'm not... I don't really have that much excess ore, so that increased building speed from a third wall factory isn't really going to be that beneficial at this point, although you can see now I'm building up my ore reserves quite quickly. And you can see the green's pulling back, and now I'll just go back to my tanks down at his base. And you can see his ore refinery is stationary, his ore truck is stationary, so it's pretty much good game. He doesn't have any ore refineries left. Right, so I think there was a few mistakes our opponents made. Probably when at the start, when Yellow held his tanks back, I think I think he was holding them around his construction yard. Also, the better place probably would have been to position the tanks at the bottleneck. Because then I would have had a much harder time getting through. Right, so that's the game. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.